Hey oh, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny Five Alive here, and I'm joined with Lauren. Hey. -o. And welcome back to another episode of Coaster Spotlight. And in today's video, we're gonna be looking at Casey Jr. the Dumbo Movie Coaster as an example from one of our judges, Riddler Revenge 75, who's gonna be judging in our movie coaster contest. And this is his example for today, and we're gonna be checking it out. So stay tuned, guys, and let's check it out. That didn't sound good. <laughs> I'll, I'll edit it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm skipping on the cinematic shots today. We're going back to doing it the old way, guys. We're going to just dive right on into it and look at this. I totally didn't hook up the path. <laughs> Lauren, you saw me doing this. You didn't say anything. Okay, uh, there we go. A little chaotic neutral sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll speed this up. So, he did Dumbo the movie. This looks absolutely insane. And uh, let's see if he got the 4K uh, bonus points. I'm sure he did. Exactly 4K. So, that's how you get a bonus point, guys. Just pack it. Pack, <laughs> pack it in there. Rock clusters are your friend. <laughs> yep. And fencing all around the outside. Uh, so, this, this uh, whole contest was, I guess, influenced and inspired by riddler revenge so i mean his example came a little bit late everybody's done their submissions but we did give everybody examples um and that was pretty much anything that riddler made so this is essentially a riddler build towards a movie and that's what we're looking for and uh so it's a perfect example for us to look at today and uh holy moly he nailed it again look at the compact footprint you could path all the way around it and it's just jam-packed full of details Mm -hmm. He's even got like, a little carousel in there. Yep. Look at that. Let's open that up. So, uh, let's check out the queue here. Oh, what's this? I didn't even... Is that a fast pass? Oh uh... my... What in the... Oh, that was the exit to the ride. Okay, looks like they're all going to fall to their death. <laughs> How did I open the ride if there's no... <laughs> exit? Sorry, guys. We're getting... Uh, Getting things started on the wrong foot here. I guess I'm. I guess I'm a bit of a Dumbo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, where's the cue start? Here we go. Casey Jr. The coaster. So who's Casey Jr.? <laughs> I have no idea. I have no. I, I haven't seen Dumbo since I was like three years old. Yeah, same here. <laughs> I just remember a little cute little elephant with big ears and he like flies at the end of the movie or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. There's probably a lot of Disney fans that have seen this, but I guess he jumps for fire hoops and stuff. <laughs> well, he's in a circus, yeah. So. Okay, that makes sense. We see lots of circus theming and circus colors. Holy moly! What a cool idea. He's got smoke coming out of the train. It's, wow. Oh, that's neat. Those colors of smoke are just awesome looking yeah so we got little um tents and stuff scattered about really great colors of the fencing so these are things that we're looking for um as you can see he's matched the the the, the fencing to the i guess carnival theme and dumbo's in the circus so uh everything's got the circus colors the circus vibe it pops and you know he's yeah he's nailed all the little things and the themes now, anything you want to add, Lauren? I don't know. This is absolutely nuts. Yeah, I think uh, I was taking a peek at it earlier, and it looked like the length of the track in this is ridiculous. Let's so, take a peek once at Once again, it. Riddler has crammed so much in here. It's amazing. Track length, almost 1,400 meters. Holy moly. So it's going to take us on a journey. Look at that. Yeah, I think with the Riddler's coasters, looks can be deceiving because what you see on the outside is not what you're actually going to experience, as we saw with his Mad Max that had like, I don't know, eight kilometers of track inside. Mm -hmm. and I like this like a uh, little network of water that he's done here. Yeah. Very cool. So yeah, you, he's nailed the theming. Look at that. I bet you as you uh, cruise by that, you're going to see it. Like he did with the uh, oil rig in Mad Max, as you're going by, all the oil is spouting out and catching on fire. It's pretty cool. And this mm -hmm. one, he's going to be soaking everybody. 
<laughs> Makes sense, right? Because the uh, elephant can spray with his little trunk, right? <laughs> yeah, so that's so. it's a, like another added little element of theming there. So very clever. All right, so there's a good example for you guys there. Let's take a look at the nighttime lighting and then give it a ride. Holy moly, color bomb. <laughs> it, 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 he just grabbed the color wheel and hit explode. <laughs> <laughs> It's a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Oh, it's very um, colorful in the sense that, yeah, it's got all that uh, the circus vibe going on. Mm -hmm. It fits in this setting, I think. Very playful, very Disney. Disney did Dumbo, right? Yeah. Cool. All right, let's start with daytime, and we'll ride the back of the train. All righty, here we go. How's it looking on your end? Smooth? Uh, discourse is a little choppy. Worry. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Alright, let's see how far he takes this. Oh. We're gonna be able to get cinematic on this one. <laughs> but I have an idea for nighttime. Crossing with the other lift? It was like right next to it. Yeah, that's cool. That is insanely long. <laughs> yeah. Riddler's done it again. Yeah. I kind of want to pull the track out when we're done. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, that's cool. Neat. See that guy's legs sticking out? What? <laughs> they throw the jester into the rocks. Does that happen in the movie? No idea. I do not remember enough of it. Alright. That was quite spectacular. Before we move on to the nighttime, I want to talk about it for a sec because, um, as we mentioned in the rules, and hopefully you guys watched it, <laughs> sometimes uh, people just dive on into it and just get started. Um, we didn't really necessarily, like, we didn't want a storytelling contest. Um, mm -hmm. We just wanted the elements. And as you can see through there, it was just a coaster experience with all the Dumbo theming. So, as as this is Riddler's contest, he absolutely nailed it. So, um, but what was good is there's little elements of story added in as well. There's the little things that you would see in the movie throughout the experience. Um, so you can actually sneak in some storytelling in there. And uh, as if you guys haven't seen uh, Lauren's Groundhog Day, it was the video before this, and uh, sh she did something very clever, which was a part of the story, like reliving the day kind of thing. And um, <clears throat> It's a clever way of adding the storytelling. You also did the crash car, but it wasn't like, hey, let me tell you the story front to back. 
you added the elements like it's cold out today and stuff like that and that's all little mm -hmm. all little things that we're looking for in the contest and we're hoping to see some people take certain elements or their favorite parts of a movie and incorporate it into the ride somehow but mainly you just want to be able to look at it and kind of go okay this is a uh, you know a Dumbo themed or Groundhog Day themed uh, coaster and for this one I, I might because I don't know Dumbo, I might look at this and go, okay, it's a very colorful, vibrant, circus-themed coaster. Um, but as you mentioned, Dumbo was in the circus, so that makes sense and it fits. Um, yep. I think the only thing it really could have used, in my opinion, is uh, a big like Dumbo sign. Now, he says over here, Casey Jr. I, I, maybe that's one of the characters from the, the Dumbo movie. Um, um, and, and he's playing on that character, but I'm unsure. Um, so for me, I, I still think there could have been like some kind of tent out front that said Dumbo or something like that. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think, uh, well, first, I think, is Casey Jr. the name of a ride? Like, I feel like it's the name of a ride somewhere. Uh, I could be wrong, though, but um, like a real life one, I mean, or something like that. But uh, also, I like... I didn't see any elephants anywhere, did you? Like That's a good point. That's a really good point. He could have made a big giant Dumbo statue. And that's yeah. that's what I was just saying that I was looking for. So, um, you know, I think I think certain elements in that case could have been pushed a little bit further um, from Riddler's end. But in in the sense of what he, you know, what we're looking for, the compact blueprint, all the theming, he's nailed it there. But I still think yeah, for sure an elephant, a Dumbo sign, or something of that nature would have uh, been perfect. Uh, let's see what he says on the workshop. Casey Jr. is a massive 4K roller coaster blueprint based on the legendary train from the movie Dumbo. So there was a train in Dumbo? Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember there is a train at the end, That's and he, like, flies to his mom or something. <laughs> okay, the ride is built to uh, feel a bit like the very weird and scary pink elephant scene from the film. Features lift hills, special effects, and a lot of colors. Okay, so he took, like, an element of the movie, I suppose. Mm-hmm. But I still think it could have used the giant pink elephant, because he said the pink <laughs> elephant scene, right? Mm-hmm. So there you go. All right, let's pull out our scoring sheet, Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I'm, I'm not going to touch that with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm going Simon Cowell on this. <laughs> you didn't put an elephant. <laughs> so there you guys go. Um, let's check it out at nighttime and then uh, call it a day. All right, here we go. Hopefully this doesn't, uh, this view works out. We'll see. Oh, <laughs> I'm drunk. <laughs> Can I zoom in a bit? A little bit. Oh, there we go. I kind of like this perspective, but for a Riddler coaster, it might be a little crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, certainly psychedelic and night hair, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't quite remember the elephant scenes. I like the way sure he lit. He put lights on the popsicles. He gives them a for the lollipops. Lolly Is there a pink elephant in here somewhere? I might have to take a closer look. Because it might just be something to the left or the right that we're not seeing. Yeah, that's what I was wondering if I'm not seeing it. And Discord does get a little blurry sometimes, so I feel like I might miss it. But, but again, I, I still feel like um, aesthetically, if it was in the inside there, it should still be on the outside representing that as a whole. Yeah. We'll take a peek around. I almost I think this really, person... Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say, I really like the colors at night. Like... Yeah. See, at, from a distance, the colors look a little crazy, but when you're on the ride experience itself, it's absolutely breathtaking. 
Mm-hmm. And I actually really like this perspective for the mine trains. Yeah. I see something in there. Let's go take a look. But before I do that... How? <laughs> There's his track. <laughs> so Riddler says he likes to make his track first. So imagine trying to theme that. <laughs> go for it. Yeah, I don't I don't know how how that works. <laughs> I don't I don't understand it for the life of me. Uh, let's pause this, it's loud. And for those of you who want to know a bit more about Riddler, we did a thing called Riddler Week. Oh, that's what it was inside. <laughs> yeah, we did a thing called Riddler Week. All you have to do is type in Riddler on my uh, search engine, and it'll it'll actually show up the videos, all the videos that have ever been featured by Riddler. And uh, you'll see the Riddler Week. He was a special guest on, I think, three or four of the episodes. And uh, he told a lot of backstory behind what he his thought process going into these coasters. And it was actually really informative and uh, interesting. Yeah. So so definitely go check really those awesome. out guys and uh as a note to that I, I noticed that the way i do my tags and the way i do the, the videos i guess the description and stuff you can essentially type in anybody's name into the search engine on my channel and you'll get all their videos so you could type in wix, wix. home banner or you know lauren or i don't know jubilante that, that might <laughs> that might be iffy um <laughs> We'll see, but yeah, you can type in Riddler, uh, Zephor, whoever you want, and uh, most likely their videos will all show up. So if there's a certain creator that you've seen on the show um, that you really like, uh, go check out some of their other creations and, and definitely do that with Riddlers here. Boom, so there it is. Any final thoughts, Lauren? Oh, I, I really liked it at night. Yeah, the colors definitely come together and make it really cool. Yeah, I thought it was a bit of a crayon bomb from the outside, but it does look pretty. <laughs> it um, does. It'd be hard to fit into your park and not make it like, and match it in. In, but <laughs> once you get on that ride experience it was certainly breathtaking so really enjoyed that another amazing creation yet again riddler revenge and a great example uh for our movie coaster contest guys so we're looking forward to seeing what you guys create for the movie coaster contest depending on how i do this the videos should start rolling out on monday if the judging goes as planned so mm -hmm. there are a lot to do <laughs> Certainly. I think, what, 60? Maybe more? Uh, we're up to 64 at this moment. Holy moly. Uh, I'm excited, though. I, you guys are have really, like, picked some good stuff, is all I can say. <laughs> it's it's our biggest contest yet, and most challenging contest yet. So, Riddler certainly set the bar high with uh, this one, and um, I'm really glad to see so many people participated. So, awesome stuff. So, there you go, guys. That's going to do it for this episode of Coaster Spotlight. If you guys enjoy, please be sure to smash that like button, share on social media, Media, all that good stuff. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more daily Planet Coaster videos. If you guys would like to support the show and keep it going, you could do so by becoming a patron. All right, everybody. Hope you all have a fantastic day as well as you, Lauren. Yeah, me too. Thank you. And we'll see you all in the next video. Bye now. Bye now.